Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J. And in today's video, in today's video, we're going to be testing out a lot of products. So I am loving these testing out videos. I have a few products that I'm bringing back. I want to give you guys another first impression or maybe a review this time because I've had some time to test it out. But I do have quite a spread of new products to test out today. So if you're interested in finding out more about the products that I have to test out, we are hopefully going to create a purple look as well. I haven't done that on my channel in a very hot minute. And you guys know I love to show you my step-by-step -step tutorials, especially for my eye look. So if you're interested, then subscribe and let's jump right in. Okay? <laughs> right, before we get started, how cute are these French tips? These are the Elegant Touch nails that I unboxed for you guys, the French 101 nails. I've, I've never done French tip nails, ever, ever. Even when I got married, I had orange nails. My dress was white and orange, so it looked really good at the time. But these French tip nails, there's just something about them. I'm just going to be doing a lot of this. So there's going to be a lot of this kind of movement. Do you guys watch this guy on TikTok called, he's Victor. And he's always like, so to piggyback on what it is that you have said. <laughs> this guy cracks me up all the time. If you're looking for a good laugh, definitely follow him on TikTok. I always lose his handle, but if I find him, I will put it in the description box because he deserves all the accolade. That boy makes me laugh. I should say man. That man makes me laugh so much. God bless him. So, <laughs> enough with the preambles. Okay, skincare's done. Let's jump into primer. So, Beauty Crop, the Beauty Crop. I do like to feature them a few times on my channel. The Beauty Crop has come out with their prep and set, prep and set products. So we've got primer, we've got setting powder in this set in front of me. And I also have a mascara. And it's like a long wear type of test. So you do have different types of primers to suit the different skin needs. So you've got a perfecting primer, which looks like this. I'll actually show you guys the close-ups. Uh, you've got Rose Glow Hydrating Primer, which looks like this. This one has a yellow, yellow tint to it, so I'm going to dim my lights because I know it's washing it out. You've got Poreless pore Primer, which I will probably be using. This is a pore minimizing primer. And then you've got a Dewy Primer. So this is the Dewy Primer. It hydrates the skin. Helps the makeup to last all day, brightens your complexion, ultra moisture to the skin, dewy fresh face finish, unique gel texture which grips makeup to ensure that it stays put. It's enriched with watermelon seed extract. Does it smell like that? I know I'm out of focus. Yeah, I can smell it. A little bit. I can smell it. <laughs> so that's the dewy primer. And then the Perfecting Primer. So the Perfecting Primer, enriched with coconut water extract. You know I've got to smell it. I just have to. Ooh, this one's soft. Okay, I smell a little bit of it. This one's very, very soft. So that is, I mean, what's the point? It's a primer, you're not really gonna see anything. <laughs> so that's the Perfecting Primer. Improves the appearance of skin texture. Use on the makeup, you can use it alone or mix with moisturizer for an extra glow, optimal light um, diffusion. I don't see any specks of glitter or anything in this one, so I'm not sure what that means. Then this is the hydrating primer. So the hydrating primer, um, don't really have any information on this. Okay, so we'll... Uh, radiance boosting serum primer that illuminates the skin, hydrates and prevents makeup from caking. Then poreless primer. This is avocado poreless primer, a nourishing milky serum formulated with avocado to hydrate the skin for a healthy complexion. Vitamin pack serum, skin soothing properties. I don't see any SPF in any of these products. 
So you probably have to use find your SPF on another product. Okay, this one looks more like a moisturizer. This is the one I'm probably going to use, so we'll talk more about it. Since there is no um, SPF or sunscreen or sun protector in any of the products that I'm using, actually, I do want to reach for this. So this is new from Dermalogica. This is their um, Invisible Physical Defense SPF. Um, and this has SPF 30 in it. What I really like about this is that um, the entire family can use it. So normally I have to get uh, one for my son and one for myself. But the entire family can use this one. And I know what you're going to say. There's some people out there that believe that because you're black, you don't need sunscreen. But the melanin in your skin, it helps to reduce the effect of um, the UV rays of, of, of the harsh sun. Yes. But it, it, it doesn't stop it. It helps to minimize the effect. So you can still get cancer. You can still get so many skin, you know, skin issues. But by using SPF, you're further supporting the your barrier and giving your barrier a little bit of boost. So this, uh, it says... Apply liberally to face and neck, preferably 30 minutes prior to sun exposure. Don't worry, we'll be here for a while. Invisible weightless defense that blends easily on skin, featuring ultra sheer zinc oxide. So, and plus, I have very sensitive skin anyway, and I get discoloration. So, a couple of, I think two weeks ago, we had really good weather, and... I had my SPF on, we had a little bit of a barbecue going, and I'm sure you guys can tell that I've got some color to my skin even more now. <laughs> so I did tan, and I tan really, really quickly, and literally, I was probably outside for just about two hours, so I don't joke with my sunscreen, neither should you. SPF, girl. 30, 50 whatever have it even if it's not sunny you still need your spf and i do like this one from dermalogica it's not leaving my skin looking white some of those sunscreens will just make your skin have a white cast so i'm gonna let that sit in for a couple of minutes before applying the primer i'm applying the avocado poreless primer i do have a discount code for the beauty crop website Media J will get you guys 15%. I do make a commission off it. So this one is packed with vitamins. It's got um, a little bit of a green finish to it. Uh, it's avocado poreless primer, formulated with avocado, minimizes the pores, soothes the skin, and helps your makeup go on better and last longer. Now, I don't know how I feel about this primer. I don't feel it. I don't think or I don't see it. <laughs> Get your words together, girl. I don't see it filling my pores. And it's supposed to be a poreless primer. And I do have substantial pores. But who knows? It might work with the foundation. I did leave it for a couple of minutes to settle in off camera. So let's move on to foundation. So if you caught my video testing out the Morphe Filter Effects Soft Focus Foundation. You know that the shade that I initially tested um, is Filter Rich 26. Now, this shade I thought would work perfectly for me, but I do feel like because I, I've tanned a little bit because I've been in the sun, I am a little bit darker than my typical shade, which is what I would go for, which is this. But, um, you know, it still looked really good. And I know that in the video, I wasn't too sure about the consistency of it, about the finish of it. I felt like it looked a lot better from afar because I felt like it was really accentuating my pores. But when I had the whole makeup on, it looked really, really good. And I did enjoy the finish. I have since then used it four to five times and I love it. I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's so easy to use, so quick. I was also a little bit hard <laughs> on the Morphe brush, which is the E63 brush, but I think I may have been using it wrong. So I was using it in like a stippling motion, which would take forever, 
but I think you're supposed to just glide it on. So I want to have a redo <laughs> of all of that. So what I've done now is I've purchased I've purchased another shade. So this is the Filter Rich 28. So this one has more of a red undertone and it's a little bit darker. So I'm hoping that this would be my summer shade and the 26 would be my winter shade so i'm gonna swatch the two of them because i know there are a few of you that struggle um like i do because my skin tone changes up on me quickly so let's see let's i don't know why i always swatch on my hand but let's swatch on the face today so that is 28. You guys will tell me if there's a massive difference. So that's 28 and then that's 26 on top. 26 on top and 28. I do see a tone, excuse me, I do see a tone difference. So I am quite excited to try the 28. So, yeah, with, it's a redo. Okay, so I'm going to speed through applying this because, yeah. <laughs> my texture but I actually don't think that it's the foundation I think that primer is not poor priming anything right now <laughs> mm. you guys can see my skin but I do like the color of this time. so let's move on to eyes so for eyes I am thoroughly excited to be trying the Novena Novena 5 eyeshadow palette so this is the pro pigment volume 5 um, I did show, I don't know how I'm going to, this thing is so big, so hopefully this, it's upside down, but bear with it. Um, I did show this in my haul video, and I did do some swatches, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But, hello, it's a purple color story. We're going to be having some fun with this palette. My lights are washing it out, but trust me, it is darker than this. So let me, yeah, I think that's a better reflection of the color story. So, I think this is a really, really cohesive color story for Novena. Most of the other volume palettes are kind of like everywhere. But this is very cohesive. You've got mauve tones, you've got purple tones. It's the kind of color story that I do love. It's got a little bit of pink, but it is an off-putting. Um, and I think it is a lot darker than the original Novena palette, the one with ABH. So I'm going to do one eye off camera, get my bearings together, and I'll come back and we do the second eye. Alright you guys, we are up close and personal. This is the look I came up with. Super cute, really wanted to stick to purples. I wanted to show you guys this cute little mirror case that the Beauty Crop sent over. I'm not sure if this is available on their website to purchase, but if it is, I will link it below. And the back of the mirror, this is cute little orange so it says squeeze the day and i've literally been looking for a small little compact to really get close to my eye without blocking what it is that i'm doing because it's a struggle sometimes so so far all i've done is i've i've applied my p louise base in room number two um i also use room number five to kind of like clean up underneath my brows so the palette is quite big, so I'm just going to tell you guys the numbers that I'm using. So I'm using this blending brush from Morphe. It is, I don't know the name, but it's from the Christmas collection. And I'm using E5. E5 in the pan looks brown, <laughs> but it's, it's a dark purple. So I'm just going to apply that in my outer corner and pack it on. I really want it to be dark and intense. 
that's the only color I've got in the outer corner so you can see the potential but it's gonna take a little bit of packing <music> with that for now so now I want to blend the edge of that and kind of blow it out a little bit and give it like a softer purple and so I'm going into shade uh, D4 with another blending brush and I'm doing a lot of tapping because this is a pigment palette so if you swipe too much you're not gonna build up the color you kind of like just want to tap your shades in place Trust me, you get the most intensity by tapping and tapping to diffuse, tapping to apply. And I'm going to slightly bring that in a little a bit. A lot of going back and forth with those two colors to kind of get the intensity that you're looking for. Once I'm satisfied with that, I want to bring some color into the inner corner and connect it up there. So I'm going to go into shade B2. That you know, Sometimes I have to think about what shade I use. So I'm going to go into shade B2. And I'm just going to start packing that color from the inner corner here. I'm avoiding my lid because I'm going to cut that. Do a little cut crease. I haven't done a little sharp little cut crease in a minute. So I was kind of feeling it today. So I'm just connecting it to where... I applied D4 and I'm packing this on and you can see how very pigmented this palette is and if you notice all I've been doing is packing it on and patting it in place no swiping at least I don't find that it works for me when I swipe so there's a lot of patting involved okay now, because I want a little bit more color that is closer to my skin tone up there, closer, not the same as my skin tone, I'm going into E2. E2 is like a mauve tone color. And now I'm I'm um I'm um blending it in so windshield wipe motion because I just want the color diffused. I don't really want it too intense just a little bit there so it just kind of like shapens I lost a little bit here kind of like shapens my my yeah gives me a little shape I'm there. gonna cut my crease off camera so it's like a half cut crease I'm not taking it all the way to the end it's a half cut crease so just because cutting your crease takes a little bit of time and quite a lot of holding your breath. I feel like doing it on camera just adds a little bit more pressure because it takes so long. So I'll be right back. That took my breath away, literally. <laughs> right, so now for my lid, I'm gonna use two shades. Um, I originally wanted to use one, but I thought I could layer this and it'll be cute. So I'm gonna start off with E3. And this is what E3 looks like very pretty purple shade so and i'm using this um pointy i want to say it's a packing brush and i'm using it because it's really going to get into the corners of the lid so i'm starting off patting it and then i'm going to end up swiping the color on because that's the type of texture um of this eyeshadow ideally i would I, um, ideally it would be better to use your finger but I've got nails on and plus it's so precise my finger would mess it up anyway am I too close but you know what this is difficult <laughs> I hate doing my makeup on this side maybe I start doing the side off camera and then do this side on camera because it's a lot easier to yeah I think I'll start doing that because this side sometimes at the same time you guys I'm still suffering from hay fever and I know I'm using Puritan tablets, but it still doesn't stop the suffering. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping it towards the bottom of the lid. So pretty. And then on top of that, I kind of like blend it in a little bit. I'm going to go into E1. E1 is like a rose gold 
it's a rose gold type of color I love it it's so pretty <music> so stunning so just to soften the edge of that i'm gonna go into uh d5 d5 has like specks of glitter possibly in it and i'm just tapping the edge of that i'm just helping to soften where i cut the crease and where the sh shimmer shadows meet all right you guys so that is it so far for the eyes what do you think pretty easy to do isn't it it's very very easy and i really love the pigmentation in this palette i knew i was going to fall in love with the color story and so far i am very much enjoying the pigmentation i love that there's a good balance of cool tone browns you've got marvy shades you've got pressed glitter it looks really beautiful i did swatch it in my my haul video and it's fine it's a really really nice consistency Overall, I'm very much impressed with this color story, but most especially, I really love the Norvina um, collection. I love the series of eyeshadow palettes. I think the quality is really, really good. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer, but to set my concealer, I do have a few face powders from the Beauty Crop, so I'm trying to get them all together. I've got six powders here, different um, tones, obviously, different colors, and these are these are the Vitamin Babe Setting Powder. They are weightless, talc-free setting powders with hydrating properties. Um, it says that it melts into the skin while blurring the appearance of pores and sets makeup. We know that the primer didn't really, I don't think it really did that, so hopefully these powders do. Um... It also says that it, there's no flashback with these with these powders. So maybe we'll try it with my phone. I might take a picture with my phone, see what that looks like. Cruelty-free, vegan, talc-free, no parabens. Uh, how to use... Sorry, I'm looking at them. So sometimes you guys always think, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the flyers that always come with it. <laughs> how to use set after using cream formula, using a powder puff or powder brush i don't have a puff do these things come with a puff let's have a look there oh there is a puff inside so we will use the puff um remove excess by tapping or pressing motion okay apply to wherever you would like to set your makeup so i don't think this is just an under eye setting powder i think this can also be used as a full-on face powder i do have a lot of colors so let's quickly go through the different colors that i've got so i've got transparent this is the packaging it says vitamin babe setting powder and then you've got the shade name at the bottom. This will last you 12 months from point of opening. It's got a puff, as, as I said. And then it's got like a lid. So if you lift that. Um, problems with having nails. Okay. Oof. <laughs> if you lift that, you've got a little protective sheet. So there's a little protective sheet. And then it's um like a cushion, cushion type of effect. I'm trying to show you guys as well. Cushion type of effect and then the powders on there. So which is good for traveling because it means you can close that up and there's no spillage anywhere. And so the puff can comfortably sit on top of it. So I really like the packaging for that. I really, really love that. Um, They retail for £9 or $13.99. For nine pounds in the nine pounds in the UK, <laughs> nine pounds. Get your words out. Um, so that's transparent, and then I've got fair one, which looks like that. It's pretty much close. Uh, what you see is pretty much close in real life. And then I'm trying to go in color. Uh, so that's fair one, and then I've got light two. Let's see, fair one, light two. To me, they look pretty much the same, but what do I know? And then I've got medium three. Yeah, it's like a caramel brown type of shade. Anyway, 
so that's that and then you've got deep four deep four looks like that that might be a little bit light to set my face and then i've got rich five which looks like this so these are the shades that they've sent to me i think these are all the shades but this is what I've got. And as I said, they retail for £9. So I am going to conceal with my Revolution Conceal and Define. And then I'm going to use some of these powders to set my under eye and also set the rest of my face. Okay, so it's medium. It's medium three that I use to set underneath my eyes and around my mouth. And I tell you something, it is a little bit of hard work. But... Yeah. It's not filling the pores, like, <laughs> I can still see my pores. I just hope that this powder works out because I really love this eye look and I will cry. All right, so I'm going to try Deep Four all over my face. I do like the cute little pump, um, face pad. Face pad? Yeah, I do like that because it allows me to really get in there. Okay, so let's try. Okay, I'm not too mad at it, using it as a powder all over the face. I do think that the powder is a little bit too dark, but I'm sure by the time the bronzer, blush, and everything is on, it'll be all right. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks good. Pause is still showing, but it looks good, though. Okay, I haven't got any new blush, but I do have this that I hold. So this is the Milani um, All-Inclusive Eye Cheek Face Palette that I showed you guys in my haul. I have been using it. I did put it into my shop, my stash. I had to, you guys. And so I have been using it off camera, and I do like it. The bronzer shade takes a little bit of, of effort to build up. I don't know if it's because of the tone or because of the pigmentation. It's just kind of uh, a little bit dusty. The blush, however, is very beautiful. And so are the, the blush highlighter shade. Get your words out. And also the highlighter shade here. They are very gorgeous and apply beautifully. But I haven't used this on camera. So I'm going to bronze with this today. Hopefully it all works out, you guys. Because I really like my eye look. It's gonna take some build up, so we're gonna fast forward this. Do you see what I mean by like I've tapped this in a few times? Do you see how it's just dusty? And look at what's on my brush hardly anything. So it does take, look, it's a bit dusty. So maybe I might switch tactics because let's give it a go first. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? That's as much bronze. And that's beautiful for an everyday makeup look, but it's not enough for this look. Especially the fact that the powder is a little bit dark. So I am going to switch tactics. I will bronze off camera and I'm going to use the 8R palette from Morphe, which looks like this. You guys have seen this several times. So let me do that quickly off camera because I'm conscious that this video gonna be long I want to show you guys a little bit around my nose area I don't think it's coming through as much but the powder isn't really setting that area really well and underneath my eye but I am not mad at the way it set my face and the bronzer and everything is just pulling everything together so so far I'm happy it's just a few areas around my nose and not a set and underneath the eyes as well I can see some lines so the powder didn't really set that properly but I normally bring my shadow low anyway but just just to point out okay I think I can use the Milani palette for the blush do you know why I feel like I'm everywhere in this video everywhere and nowhere in this video I think I can use I'm actually gonna use what am I gonna use I could use this let's use this so I'm going to use the one with a little bit of shimmer. It is a bit of um, like a rose gold finish. So this one. And just put it here. You can see it's very, very pretty. So if you don't like highlighters, you could opt for something like this. 
quite a number of um, brands do shades like this. And there's one from Ofra that you guys know that I love. The one from the Face Midi palette. But basically, it just doubles up as a highlighter if you don't want to apply highlighter. We will be hi applying highlighter. But... So, rose up my cheeks a little bit. This might be one of my favorite on the eye looks in a long time so for my waterline i use the makeup obsession x tiffany collection and this is in shade cocktail they're coal eye pencils so i've already popped that in my waterline so shades that i'm going to use so i'm going to use the p louise i'm a mitchell collaboration in ibiza and i'm going to apply that underneath my lower lash line because these are pressed pigment shadows, you guys know. It needs something to grab a hold of. You can use your NYX um, base, your glitter, it's a glitter adhesive base if you like. But I want to use this one because it's a lilac color, which means that it will really give more intensity. So I'm just using a pencil brush to apply that and blend it in as well because I don't want it to just sit. I want it blended in as well. As I said, I do bring my shadows quite low. Basically, I use up my whole eye, sh <laughs> eye shape. Now, I'm going to go back into E5. And because we've done our eye, you're going to be tapping off excess. And what I'm doing is I'm patting the product in again and just making sure that I'm building that intensity because I've done my face I don't want any fallout so it's a slower process but I am tapping excess off so I pick it up and next is that color I'm going to use shade D4 just to bring it into the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to use shade B2 and D5 to blend the lower part of my eye so just follow along and this is what we have so far now I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera I will apply a little bit of a black liner to hide the band of my lashes but the lashes I want to use are these luxury mink lashes from the flashiest that's the name of the brand and this style is called the desire they're a new indie brand so it's got a spoolie in there to help you brush out any gunk or powder or anything or glue from your lashes which i love and i've used these lashes a few times already and they look really good love the packaging as well i did do um, um an ad with them on instagram featuring their lashes so definitely check it out i will link it in the description box if you want to see what it looks like but they also have magnetic lashes which are just stunning um so definitely check out that video but yeah i will be wearing these lashes off camera so i'll be right back <laughs> all right i'm jumping the gun i did say that i want to try the mascara so this is the avocado mascara is god avocado and castor oil is formulated um it's, it's formulated with avocado and castor oil. It's silicon-free, mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, cruelty-free, vegan, no parabens. <clears throat> it says it will strengthen and nourish your lashes. It's black and it claims to have 24-hour wear. I do like the wand. I feel like the wand, um, like... It's nice and soft. It's those soft brittles that won't hurt if it pricks your eye a little bit. There's some really sharp ones out there, you guys, that I'm like... I mean, this one will still hurt. I mean, they all hurt. But there's some sharp ones I feel like I'm going to cut myself. I think it's all right. Because I've got purple on, you can't really see. But I think it's okay. You can build it up, which is right, good. So my lashes are on, and I did spritz my face with a Morphe Lumina setting spray, and I think that kind of like settled down the powder even more. So I am loving the finish so far. So next thing that I want to do is apply my highlighter. I haven't used this palette, I don't think, before. I think I've swatched it a lot. 
but I don't recall using it, or at least not in a video. This is the ABH Aurora Glow Kit, and there are some very beautiful colors in here. This one has like a rose gold type of finish. This as well has like a rose gold finish to it. So I was playing with them and swatching them yesterday just to have an idea of which of the highlighters I would use in this video. And I really like them because they do like they do have an iridescent shift to it which kind of has a little bit of purple so I'm not gonna go ham so you can see it's kind of like rose gold rose gold finish which is stunning absolutely stunning yeah yes 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 so i'm using the shade eclipse and lyra I'm mixing them together to give me that glow. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Just like that. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm going to pop Halia in my inner corner. It has like, I want to say it has a bit of a green shift to it. Just a little bit in my inner corner. Just to kind of like open that up a little bit more i don't want to disturb the cut crease but i do want a little bit of brightness there like that i think that's so pretty to line my lips i'm gonna use the sleek makeup lip pencil in new rules and to fill in my lips i'm gonna be using the gerard cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in Iced Mocha. It's a beautiful, like, mauve-y mauve tone, but edging more towards purple. Love it. So, all right, you guys, this is the finished look. I think my camera cut off partway, but I was telling you guys the lip combination that I've got on. I've got Lip Pencil from Sleek in the shade New Rules, and I've got the Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics in Iced Mocha. Listen, <laughs> girl, this look is fire. And to set my face and give me a little bit more glow, I'm using the Iconic, or rather I use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow products. So if you give this guy a little shake, you get these beautiful iridescent uh, particles. It's not too much, like it doesn't really give you that glow. You can tell. It's just subtle, very soft. Uh, this is the original. And I've got a two-piece on. This is from Fabletics. It's super cute from Recycled Material, I believe. <sighs> This will be in the description box as well. Hopefully I have a long um, view picture to show you guys the set, but I feel so cute in the set with the French tips and the makeup and the hair. I feel super cute. So basically, let's quickly run through the highlights of today. The highlight obviously is a Novena palette. That palette is absolutely gorgeous. You can't tell me nothing. If you really want a purple hue eyeshadow palette in your collection good quality definitely check out this one you also have some neutral tones in it you've got some pinks as well a bit of mauve tones going on in there as well very beautiful versatile palette out of her five out of the five volumes this is the most cohesive one in my opinion so i love it for that the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation, I'm really happy that I got a darker shade because I do feel like this shade matches me a lot better. I'm not as bright <laughs> as in the first round. That shade should be my like my winter color or if I don't go outside type of color. So I still love that foundation. I think it's a really good everyday foundation. Glides on really nicely. I love the brush can't find my desk is a mess right now oh yeah there it is so i do love this brush and this is the morphe e63 brush so glide on don't 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 stipple in like i was doing so i do love the brush for that the beauty crop um powders so the vitamin babe setting powders 
I want to try these more. Actually, they did say no flashback. And I did say I was going to try it on camera. So I will insert the picture itself. But let's get my camera on. Because we have to test if it is flashback free, honey. Let's, let's get a cute, a cute little selfie going. <laughs> Let's see, I hardly ever take pictures with my phone. Don't know what angle. Take another one. Let's have a look. Okay. 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 We can't, yeah, my, my, my mirror is grotty, but I will put the picture in here okay so no flashback i i like it nice clean canvas um so this is uh, so with these powders i definitely want to try them a little bit more i do like the finished look i like the settle down look with my setting spray so i like it so far i just really need to test it more to see how much i love it and also i'm not doing a wear test at the moment i have done a wear test of the morphe filter effect foundation because as i said i did add it to my shop my stash and i usually wear my makeup for about eight hours because i work and it lasts all day indoors so i don't go out so i haven't been out in the elements to really try it out but indoors it lasts all day it looks really really Next good product is the beauty crop um primer so the one that i use is the poreless primer and i can tell you off the bat i don't like it it didn't fill in my pores it felt really moisturizing really hydrating but it didn't fill out my pores so i knew instantly that my pores were accentuated and so the base when the base is wrong everything else doesn't kind of sit as nice so though we have this beautiful finished look it could have been better had i used a different primer so i'm not really happy with that but i do want to test out the other ones um i feel like this feels more like a lotion or if you have very minimal pores maybe it would um work for you but for me it kind of didn't fill in my pores so i'm not very happy about that one the avocado mascara it's all right it's decent my lashes i mean yeah it worked i don't is it nourishing that's something i'm gonna have to find out over the next couple of days weeks but i can't tell you present that it's a mascara it's kind of difficult to review a mascara when it's not lengthening or um fuller like volume type of mascara this is nourishing type of mascara so it's something that's gonna have to build up over time and then the milani all-inclusive eye cheek and face palette i am very much on the fence with this product i bought it because of the bronzer but to be honest the bronzer is very very lackluster all the other shades in this palette Obviously, I haven't used the eye shades. I've only swatched them. Excuse me. I have used the blush, the two blush shades, and they work really nicely. And I have used the highlighter, and I did like it. So, so far, the only thing I don't like is the bronzer. Hopefully, the eyeshadows will be all right, but I'm not completely blown away by that product. And I did look on Milani website. They only have a light to medium, and then this is medium too deep so they've only got two shades so if you're darker than me you're gonna struggle to use this product flashiest lashes love them definitely check out the links in the description box and i think that's pretty much all the new products that i tested out in this video oh yeah this was the first time i used the iconic london prep set and glow very very refreshing settled down the makeup even further and gave me a little bit more glow i am in love so yes we are at the end of the video. I am so excited that this look came out looking pink. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial review. I don't even know what to call these 
videos of testing, reviews, tutorials, because I like to, you know I like to talk to you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot, guys. I am trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you, have, if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in a future video. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Listen to the words. God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter. And I'll catch you guys in a future video.